Today we're going to be making this arrow wall hanging. Stay tuned! And don't forget to take a screenshot of today's project details. Now let's get started. Attach two lark said knots on opposite sides of your branch. Next, grab your third cord and find the center. Once you've found the middle, place it right underneath your branch. And we're going to attach this cord using double half hitches. Now this part's a little bit tricky. What might help you is using a board and tack it down as opposed to using a rolling rack like I am. To make a double half hitch knot, you grab one of your cords from your lark's head knot, you wrap it around your filler cord and loop it through. And you repeat this motion twice. Here, let me show you again. You take your cord, you wrap it around and you pull it through. That's half of your double half hitch. To complete the double half hitch, you gotta do it one more time by wrapping it around and through the loop. Next, we do the same thing over on the opposite side of our branch. With the next eight remaining cords, we're gonna be tying reverse lark's head knots. A reverse lark's head knot is the same thing as what we did to attach the first two cords, only we're coming up underneath. By doing it this way, it has the illusion of double half hitches. Next, taking our pattern, we're going to do a whole row of vertical double half hitches straight across in white. Okay, so with a very long working cord, we're going to place it behind the first two set of cords. We're going to wrap it around to form a loop on our right. Wrap our long end around and through the loop. That's the first half of our vertical double half hitch. Now we're going to repeat the same thing by making a loop on the right and then pull our tail in through the loop. Adjust it a bit and then slide it all the way up to the top. And that's our first vertical double half hitch. So to make the second one, make sure your cord is in behind the next set of two cords. You make a loop on your right, pull the tail end through the loop, and then repeat the same process. And that is how you make a vertical double half hitch. So I'm gonna go straight across all the way to the very end and then I'll show you how to go back in the opposite direction. Okay, so coming back to our pattern, we went all the way straight across in white. Next, we go straight across in the opposite direction, with the first and last cords white, and then the middle being all that dark blue color. Okay, so bring your working cord behind the next set of two cords, and then make a loop on your left this time. So it's just the same thing as we were doing before, only your loop is on the left. Now to add color, we're just grabbing a new cord, and we're attaching it just like we did with the very first vertical double half hitch. Keeping in mind we are working from right to left this time, so your loop will be on the left. And don't forget, if I'm going too fast for you, you can always adjust the speed of this video by tapping the three dots on the top right corner. Or feel free to check out my knot tutorial playlist, I'll link it in the cards above. Alrighty, I'm going to motor on through this row and then I'll show you how to swap back to the white cord. Okay, so grab your white cord and you want to pull it all the way behind your working cords. Make sure that your green cord is tucked behind. And then we just pull it across and then continue with our vertical double half hitches. It's really that easy. So I'm going to carry on and plow right through this whole pattern and then I'll show you what to do from there. Alrighty, we made it. So grab your work, flip it around, and we're gonna clean up the mess on the back. Now what I do is I grab two cords that are close together, and then I tie just a regular double overhand knot. However, the professional way to do it is to weave in your ends behind your knots and then snip off the excess. But overhand knots do the job. Next, brush out your fringe and trim the ends. If you are interested in learning how to make your own custom patterns like this one, check out this video on the screen here and I'll see you over there.